To remove the control panel, there are four bolts extracted, but it is not uncommon to have to cut or grind off poor quality hardware. The control valves and manifold pipe are all attached to the control panel. Unscrew the corrugated gas line from the rotisserie valve and the manifold to release the entire assembly from the grill. Remove lower clamps from valves to release the gas manifold pipe. The gas manifold is corroding badly. Clean and paint very well because replacement manifold pipes are unavailable and must be custom made if damaged. Below the knobs, two small bolts hold the valves to the panel, but both valve and bezel fall free as screws are unthreaded. Replacement flamethrowers install exactly the same as the new valves replace the old. Our paint-protected manifold pipe lines up holes to valves, which then clamp over the gas pipe to tightly seal gas flow and complete the control panel as one assembly to be reattached. The original rotisserie valve was ruined, but we stock simple replacement valves which will easily clamp to the manifold and the control panel. The valve threads adapt to connect the rotisserie gas hose. With the rotisserie gas connected, the manifold pipe hose can be attached. Install the control valve panel assembly so gas orifices slide into burner opening. Air shutters can be adjusted after ignition. Once controls and orifices are verified and panel has been bolted in place, flamethrower valves automatically ignite when turned on. Rotisserie valve does not automatically ignite with new valve, but barbecue burners pop and flare up to ignite burners every time turned on.